We can't randomly assign people to play violent or non-violent video games and then give them guns and knives and see what they do with them. You know, so you ha researchers have to be very creative about how do you measure aggressive behavior. Here's a study we did in the Netherlands. The participants in this study were Dutch boys. They were about 14 years old. And we randomly assigned them to play a violent or non-violent video game for 20 minutes. After playing the game, they rated how cool they thought the players were in the games, how much they wanted to be like these characters. And then they competed to see who could press a button faster. And the winner gets to blast the loser with loud noise through headphones. They didn't have to though. We didn't force them to behave aggressively. They could choose no noise. They could also decide how long the other boy suffered by how long they held down the duration button. So they could give the other boy really loud blasts of noise for as long as they wanted. And participants in our study were told that if they selected levels eight, nine, and 10, they could cause permanent hearing damage to their partner. They couldn't actually, but you can imagine that a boy might think hearing noise levels louder than what you heard for uh, extended periods of time could maybe have such effects. So here's some actual comments from these boys. I blasted him with level 10 noise because he deserved it. I know he can get hearing damage, but I don't care. So these boys are identifying with these violent characters and it's clearly influencing their behavior. I told you about one study, but there are 140 studies uh, showing very similar results.